Hello, welcome to Let's Go Yoga. My name is Miss Shar, this is Stella. Today we're gonna go on a really fun adventure in our backyard. But before we do that, I have a question to ask you and you at home. Do you know what the word gratitude means? No. <gasps> no, well I'm glad I asked that question because gratitude is a really important word because it means to be thankful for the things that we have, the people that are in our lives, our pets that we may have, and it brings us feelings of joy. So you have feelings of joy, usually that brings along gratefulness and gratitude that comes with that. So we will get back to that word later, but that was the quick little just vocabulary fun game that we're gonna start to do before we start though I want to make sure you guys are seating in the right position so come down on your mats if you're not already there crisscross and I'm gonna go over so do straight spine it's like this when we sit on our mat I want to do a long straight spine we can also do a non straight spine like a slouch spine so this is a slouch spine, straight, straight spine, slouch spine, straight spine, slouch spine, straight spine. So when we're in seated position, we want to make sure we're aware of our spine. So we don't really want to go like this when we're sitting. We want to practice sitting up straight, like somebody has a string and they're pulling it from the top of your head up. And now we go high like a straight spine there okay let's get started so today we're going to imagine Leo our lizard is out of his terrarium and we are gonna bring him into our garden because it's he needs some fresh air so let's put him down and we are in our garden and it's a beautiful garden so we're sitting down in our seated position with a straight spine and we put Leo in front of us and we close our eyes and we take a long inhale breath in, smelling all the different smells of the garden and exhale. <sighs> Try that again. Inhale and exhale with a <sighs> And we open up our eyes and oh my goodness, Leo has disappeared. Where could he have been? Where could Under he have gone? There's a rock in front of us. Let's check to see. Maybe he crawled over there. So we reach down in front of us with their bottoms to our mats. Bottoms on our mats still. Yeah. Reach down and let's grab that rock. <sighs> Reaching with our arms up straight. We look down and we don't see Leo, but we do see a little worm. Let's come into our little worm pose feet together and this worm is like squiggling around kind of fast and he looks up and he starts talking and he says yes she says oh who moved my rock it's so bright out here I don't like the bright sun and he goes back trying to bury himself let's bury ourselves into the dirt well since Leo's not in there, we gotta put that rock back. So coming back into crisscross, yeah, straight spine. Bring your rock over your head and gently lower down and place the rock back down. Okay, well where is he? He's under the rock. So we see a big rosemary bush in front of us. Clasp your hands together like this. Yeah, and then palms out. Yes, perfect. And it's a big bush. And it's very tall. Very tall bush. Stella, and then do a very wide. Bring your arms down slow because it's super wide. Maybe he's in the bush somewhere. Maybe he's getting some shade. So coming down, let's check out the bush. Coming down to all fours and cat cow. And looking up in the bush. Look up, Stella. Arch your spine. Look around. Do we see Leo? No. no. Drop your head. Say no. Look up again. Do we see Leo in this bush? Looking up, Stella, drop your head, say no. But what we do see is a little ladybug. 
Ladybug. Clash your hands and let's get some wings. And this little ladybug is eating from the bush. So we ask her, because we can talk to animals, Miss Ladybug, have you seen our lizard? And she says, in her very, very lady way of talking, oh no, not today, sorry my dear, but Spider, who lives by the chairs, he knows everybody around these parts. You should ask him. And she goes back to eating. Okay, well, let's go out of the garden into the backyard, out of the backyard, and see if we can find lizard or maybe even spider. So coming on your bottoms, we're going to roll up three times because we are going on an adventure. Okay, you ready, Stella? You ready to roll up without using your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. One. Careful. Two. And then three. Stand up. Yes. Good job, Stella. All right. Coming into mountain pose, which is feet together, knees together, hands down, palms are facing forward, and we are strong like a mountain and solid, just like that. Coming into mountain pose, we stare out in our backyard. Maybe we can see the Leo's prey. Look out, do we see him, Stella? I don't see him, but we see a really big tree. Well, maybe he's climbed up a tree. So coming into tree pose, just like me, foot below your knee, yes, or all toes on the mat, whichever way you can balance. Or this. Yes, or but foot, not on your knee. foot above your knee, but not on your knee. That's right, Stella. Coming into tree pose, we look out. Grow your branches like a tree, and we're looking for Leo's print. Do we see him? I don't see him. I don't think he climbed up the tree. Switch legs. There, good job. Okay, we look all the way up to the top of the tree, hands together, just like this. I don't see me, but I do see Peacock. Okay, hands together, Stella. Yes, and the top of the tree, reaching to the very, very tip top, is a hawk. And he's looking towards the bottom of the tree. Oh my goodness, I think he may have spotted something. I hope it's not Leo. At the bottom of the tree, there's a bunch of leaves. So let's go to the bottom of the tree. Maybe Leo's under the leaves, hiding. So let's swish the leaves around, just like this, back and forth. Try to put your hands on the ground, moving the leaves. If you can't reach the ground, over here is just fine too. Moving the leaves. Do we see him, Stella? No. Oh no, we don't see Leo. Where is he? Slowly rolling up into some shoulder shrugs. I don't know where he's at. Where is he? Where is he, guys? I have no idea. Oh my goodness, and we need to find him. I'm starting to get a little worried now. I hope we find him soon. Okay. <clears throat> Well, since we don't know where he's at, but we do see the chairs that Ladybug told us that Spider lived under. Maybe Spider can help us. So, coming into our chair pose, feet together, yes, bottoms back, arms out straight. Yes, sit back, we look under one chair. Oh, we don't see Spider, so we look under the other chair. Coming back, arms straight up. Straight up. Yeah, don't forget to smile. Yeah, there you go. We don't see Leo or we don't see spider, but what we do see is a spider web. So drop your knee, bring your back leg out. Yep, just like that. We see a really big spider web. <gasps> and this spider web is so large, it looks like this spider has been working very hard making this massive spider switching your legs so we look under the other chair 
and we see another big spider web. Wow, that's an amazing spider web, isn't it, Stella? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I wonder how big this spider is. I'm pretty sure it's a very large spider. And just like that, coming up in the middle of the spider web, we see the spider. So coming down, bottoms this way, we see the spider. Oh, and it's hanging from the spider web, grabbing your ankles, grabbing your feet, or grabbing the floor. And we ask, Spider, have you seen our lizard? And Spider says, Oh, no lizard today. But if you ask the gopher, they know everyone around those parts. He lives down in the hole. Slowly come up. Whoa, we gotta find the gopher. There's the hole. Okay, let's come back down. Coming out. In order to get this gopher out of the hole, what do you think we should do, Stella? Knock on the floor? Knock on the floor? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so coming back with our hands behind us, knees together, let's knock on the floor. Oh no, he hasn't come out. Let's wait, maybe he's coming. Let's try again, okay? Let's not, ready? Now knock on the floor. Just then, out of the gopher hole comes the gopher. And he doesn't say much. All he does is he peeks his nose out and he points that direction. And what is he pointing to? The playground. The playground. Lizard must have went to the playground. So, on top of the playground is a really big slide right in the middle of the playground. And we see something on top of the slide. And we see some kind of print. So like this, put your hands we see something and reach for your toes. What do we see? We can't quite make it out. Is it a bird? No. Little. Switch the other arms. Switch, switch your other arms. Yeah. We look, we look. Oh, it's Leo. Leo, our lizard, and he is out there sunbathing. Coming back into lizard pose. He is out there with his big tail in the sun on top of the slide. Can I have some gear? Getting some sun gear. Bring up, bring up, bring your leg back all the way with a big wide step. That's right. Like this. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And he is out there just enjoying the sun. How did he get up that slide so quickly? He must have some type of lizard magic power. Switch your legs. He must be a lot faster than I give him credit for. Other legs, switch legs. Yeah, there you go. Switch your legs at home and come into lizard pose. And let's see your tail and drop down. And then all of a sudden, we hear a hawk sound.
So, coming back down now. Coming into seated position. Now that was the story, my friends, of Leo, our lizard. Okay, so now we are going to do a little meditation. So I would like you guys to lay on your back, just like Stella. That's right. Hands down on your side. Actually, let's put hands on our hearts. So place our two hands over our hearts. Yeah. That's right. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to go back to that word gratitude that we learned about earlier today. And I want you to visualize someone or something that you are grateful for. It can be a parent, a pet, a place you've gone to that you felt was really special, a friend. And I want you to close your eyes and think of that person or that, that thing. And just experience and focus on the feeling of joy in your heart that being around that person gives you. And I want you to slowly breathe in. And I want you to, on the exhale, I want you to send that person or that being joy. And slowly breathing again, closing your eyes. Breathing in gratitude. And on the exhale, breathing out joy. Last time, breathing in the feeling of gratitude and thankfulness that we have to be here at this moment in time and bringing, breathing out the feelings of joy. All right, very good. Now wiggle your feet, wiggle your fingers, and slowly roll up. Coming in to crisscross again. One more time for the day. That's right, good job. Hands together and run together really fast and feel the heat that it generates when you do that. Do you feel the heat? Yeah, do you feel the heat? Yes? All right, put your hands over your heart. May our hearts and our minds stay connected. May we speak kind words. May we think kind thoughts. And may we forever be expanding and expand, expand, and expand. Come around, back together, and we bow down and we say, Namaste, which is the light in me, sees the light in you and you. All right, that's it for today. Like us and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll be posting more new videos soon. Take care.